What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV and wow, Arsenal man, the gift that keeps on giving. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it goes and gets a whole lot worse. 3 0, uh, and you know what? 3 0 in the end was quite lucky to be honest. I'm sitting there at half time thinking this could end up 5 or 6. And that was a Manchester City training game. You know, we were like the mannequins just standing around. The work rate was a disgrace. Like the players, man, where's the hunger and determination? You've won your last Premier League game, Manchester City have lost theirs. And you know, we know Manchester City are a great team, but that turned into Kevin De Bruyne's playground today. That's all it was, it was Kevin De Bruyne, De Bruyne's playground and absolutely disgusted in the team today. Everything about the club, man. I'm losing heart with this club, honestly, it's painful. You know, £75 for a ticket a couple of weeks before Christmas and the players can't even be asked to put the effort in, you know, it's not acceptable. And people, you know, wonder why fans complain about this club, you know? We're not entitled to win things all the time, but I expect to see 11 players giving their best, man, and that's not good enough. Let's get into the player ratings. Leno today, what a save that was from De Bruyne. Um, I don't think he can do anything about the goals. It's hard to give him a high rating when he's conceded three, but what can he do? What can he do with this defence in front of him? I give him a six, but he probably deserves more. The defence are a shambles. Um, let's go to right back was Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I mean, he kept Sterling fairly quiet. I think Sterling drifted to the right more. Uh, I can't give him any more than a five. He was steady. I don't think he made any real mistakes, but nothing special. Go to Ch um, Callum Chambers, who I thought today, look, this season he's put a lot of effort. I thought he was absolutely disgraceful today. Every time he got the ball, he kicked it long, gave it away. Now, that's not all his fault because the midfielders were hiding. But when De Bruyne's running at him and you're just backing off into your penalty area, go and press the ball as a defender, man. You've got to understand that. You're a professional footballer, you've got to know better than that. I give him I give him a one, I'm sorry. You might think this is harsh, I thought he was shocking. That is the worst game I've ever seen Chambers have at centre-back. Socrates, awful, absolutely awful. Where's the leadership qualities from this guy? And I genuinely think he signed a washed-up defender from Dortmund. I don't think this guy is the defender that we needed. I think, you know, Dortmund don't sell players for no reason. And they knew he was past his best. I give him a... What should I give him? A, a two? I thought he was shocking. Go to the left back, Kalasinac. Came off injured, I'll give him a standard five. Thought Saka done all right when he went in there. Um, in fact, you know what? I go back to Kalasinac, I'll give him a four because he just left Sterling um, for the goal, which I thought was shocking, you know? Just stand next to him and mark him. Awful defending. Um, so I'll give him a, in fact, I'm giving him a three. That, like, that particular incident was shocking. Um, Saka, I thought, was solid when he came on. He's not a left back. He showed heart, he worked hard. I give him a six. Um, we go into the midfield. Guendouzi was poor today. You know, I can accept you having a bad game, but he's, he doesn't want the ball enough. You're hiding behind their midfielders. When our centre backs have got the ball, they need Torreira and Guendouzi to come and get it. And he's not coming to get it, man. And too many touches on the ball, he was poor. You know, naive, De Bruyne's turning him. Just clip him and take the yellow card, man. It's street smart. I'm giving him a three, he was poor. You can't build your midfield around Guendouzi. Decent young player, but he can't be your main man. Torreira, they were calling him White Kante last year. Um, he's more like the Uruguayan Lee Catamol. In fact, Lee Catamol's tougher in the tackle than him. At least he goes around smashing people. This guy, mate, Apparently he wants to go back to Italy, buy him his plane ticket and send him off. That's not good enough, mate. It's not good enough. You're supposed to be a, a defensive midfielder who protects. What the hell did he protect today? Nothing, mate. Nothing. He was shocking. I'll give him a two. Um, we go to Meza Ozil. Meza Ozil. The sooner we get rid of this guy, the better. 350 grand a week. Um, I believe he got two assists last season and I think he's got one or two this season. He doesn't shoot. He doesn't run around. He came off and sulked when he came off. Freddie actually proved a point and had the balls to drag him off and say, you know what, that is not acceptable what you're giving us. And we'll bring on Smith Rowe because at least he'll run around. Meza Ozil is a disgrace in my opinion. Sell him as soon as possible. But the problem is 350 grand a week, 31, 32 years of age, who's gonna buy him? No one. <coughs> He'll probably be here till the end of his contract. I'm done with Meza Ozil. I give him, I give him a one, mate. He's a disgrace. Um, 
go to the wide players Martinelli man of the match simple as that um, at least he gives us a hundred percent work rate for the whole 90 minutes which is a lot more than I can say about a lot of these cowards um, Kyle Walker was kicking him all over the pitch you know who in our team decided you know what our 18 year old wingers getting kicked all over by Walker I'm gonna go and lay one on him but they don't because they don't play like a team I give Martinelli a seven man of the match Aubameyang was poor today but he worked his socks off and there was no service um, I can't give him more than what I can't remember him having a shot I'll give him a four and um, we go to Pepe he had a lot of the ball I think he overran it a little bit at times um, but he tried he tried hard Mendy was was difficult for him to get past not enough end product um, I give him a five go to the um, substitute so Smith Rowe came on worked hard I give him I give him a he didn't do much really I give him a five um, who else came on Joe Willock came on gave the ball away a few times didn't look up to speed um, I give him a four and of course uh, yeah Saka um, I've given the six Freddie Lundberg I felt like he picked the right team I think the players completely let him down um, he showed balls taken off Ozil my one dispute would have been why did Lacazette not come on that was disappointing but overall I give Freddie a six and the fans today you know what what do you expect it, it's two weeks before Christmas um, in fact less than that and it's 75 pound a ticket and we've watched our team just stroll around the pitch lose 3-0 Manchester City training session um, and Kevin De Bruyne's playground like comment subscribe thanks for all your support this team's getting worse and until we get a proper manager and get rid of this board things are not going to improve keep supporting bless